Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today I'll be looking at some Big Team Infinity Slayer gameplay on the map Meltdown. Now off the spawn here I want to let you guys know that I do get 18 kills, 4 deaths, and 4 assists. I am charging through the teleporter here. Probably should have charged out the front of our base to get the Fuel Rod and Mantis that spawn at the front of our base, but I end up going to the right here and provide some good cover fire on the right, flanking the enemy players and I want you to notice right here on my HUD that my teammates have come through so I'm just providing an alternate angle of fire here as I catch a guy sprinting and I'm able to tank him out immediately backing up because I see the enemy mantis on my radar. Now through meltdown you're definitely going to want to be using the tunnels to your advantage and right here is a rare exception as I charge off the side um, and I do end up using this lift to get back up to the outer edge of the map. You do want it to cycle through the outer edge. If you're in the bottom middle or the top on the bridge, then it's going to be very difficult for you to survive on this map. And that's the general strategy you'll be seeing here. And right here I want to show you how I have an expert use of the thruster pack as I dodge out of the way of this Furot. I definitely would have died if I had not thruster pack here. Seeing as the enemy players have a thruster pack, again, I'm going to flank to the right and try to provide some cover fire for my teammates. Throughout the next sequence of events I do make several mistakes like not jumping right here. I should have jumped and I might have been able to kill the enemy player. I end up making several mistakes in the first third of the game but in the last two thirds of the game I end up not dying at all. Um, we're tied at 10 to 10 kills right now. You always want to put long range shots on enemy players. I don't want to push across the bridge to my teammates because I haven't seen enough of the enemy players die yet. So I might get melted if I go top middle. End up catching a guy off guard as he has no shields and notice that player die. And now, having seen multiple enemy players die, I push across the grid, bridge and am able to see the enemy fuel rod and the saw laying on the ground. Now the unfortunate part about this is that the enemy players know that those weapons are there because they just died there. And so picking up weapons like this is a very precarious position. I should have backed up as soon as I grabbed the fuel rod. I don't know why I tried to charge out front. I should have backed up right here all the way and should have not charged forward. Instead I end up dying and giving the fuel rod back to the enemy teammate. Or the enemy player should I say. Now going to the teleporter here, I'm going to immediately look to where that fuel rod was. However, I end up being caught off guard by two enemy players. Again, just really unfortunate. Probably should not have thrust a pack there and should have gone for the second melee. Now right here, I want you to notice what I'm going to try to do. I hear the fuel rod off to my left, so I know that there's a fuel rod guy, and sure enough, there he is. And I'm going to stay behind cover here, and I end up picking a pretty clutch headshot. Now I'm going to gonna want to try to possibly get that fuel rod, but it probably doesn't have a whole lot of ammo by now. So, unfortunately I end up being cleaned up by a new grenade as the guy throws it right as he's dying. You might as well call, call that martyrdom. A lot of people here are going to go, why didn't you call down the fuel rod? Because I had a fuel rod in my ordinance. Well, that's a mistake. Um, I do make mistakes during games, but as you can tell via this gameplay, and hopefully you're able to see, that, this quote quote mistake ends up working out very very well for me. I end up working with Amantis here. I do have a very terrible first railgun shot here, but um, I end up protecting my, my Mantis who is currently plasma pistoled and can't do anything, and I end up making the saw guy back down even if I do whiff on a shot with the railgun. And I also use my teammates as cover as I end up Backing down, I almost died completely to this guy. Excellent use of the thrust pack to get away, and a good distraction medal as my Mantis teammate takes that guy out. Very good job using my teammates and the thrust pack to stay alive there. Now right here I'm just trying to find the enemy players as my teammate opens fire on a guy across the bridge. These shots that I put into these guys don't end up actually doing anything. I don't get any assists, but it's still a good idea to put shots in the enemy players. Now I want you to notice something here as I come around the corner. Notice the green explosions, alright, that are coming from the secondary player who is jetpacking. My focus may be on this guy because he's already weak, 
because my teammate was already firing at him. Okay, but I'm not forgetting about this second guy who has a fuel rod. The fuel rod is a top priority on this map, and I want you to I want to show you how I approach the situation. The enemy fuel rod guy has obviously entered this building, and I immediately see a red dot on my radar, so I'm going to have to assume that that is him. The way you want to approach an enemy fuel rod carrier is to definitely jump. And because I'm using bumper jumper, I can jump with the left bumper and still aim while in midair with my right thumb. All right? And that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to charge up my railgun while behind cover, jump out so that I'm above his possible fuel rod shots, which would probably be down here instead of above or like up here, and I'm going to murder him. That came out really strange. Sorry about that. And I end up... Now, this is, this is a funny scenario, because I... I just don't know what to do here. I end up calling out that I have a railgun for my teammates, but I don't think any of them get it. As soon as I see the fuel rod pop up right here, which, by the way, it pops up right here on both sides of the map every three minutes now, including your Mantis, I believe, I immediately rush for it. I leave the railgun behind because I have a sniper rifle, which has... If my sniper rifle had, like, four less bullets, I would have traded it for the railgun. But because it has so much ammo, I can put some shots into the enemy Mantis. You can put a lot of damage into the Mantis from a long range with a sniper rifle. End up getting some pretty good suppression and one kill with the fuel I can hear. Using the tunnels to my advantage, I do not charge out there because I know that there's enemy players here. I don't charge out, again, staying alive. Now I'm going to speed up the film here because from here on out, I miss pretty much all of my sniper bullets on enemy players. The last four bullets I have, I whiff one bullet on a jetpacking opponent right here above the bridge. I end up um, going through the tunnel and whiffing three straight shots on an enemy player. Um, quite embarrassing on my part. I should have just uh, probably dropped the sniper rifle for something else. It's pretty difficult to snipe on this map as it is. Specifically, it's difficult to find positions from which you can snipe well. Um, it's not any more difficult to snipe than usual. It's just difficult to find positions from which to snipe from. As you can see, I put some long-range shots into the Mantis because it's not moving and it's on fire. I have enough fuel rod ammo to be able to waste shots or put several shots into a spread, even though I might not land all of them, and that's because I have a ton of ammo. As you can see, I'm pushing through the sides of the map, again, using those sides of the map because I have 15 fuel rod bullets in reserve and 5 fuel rod canisters in my clip currently. I am not going to give that weapon away to the enemy player. Right here I want to slow this down and show you a little bit of insight into how the fuel rod works. I see this enemy player right here and I fire a pretty, a pretty well aimed fuel rod shot if I really do say so myself. Right here you'll notice how fast the fuel rod bolt travels when it first comes out of your fuel rod gun. Already it's across like halfway between the distance to me and the enemy player. But notice what happens right here. Notice how the fuel rod explodes. This is the secondary rocket taking place, and this secondary rocket moves the fuel rod bolts very much slower. And as you can tell, it's moving slower because this guy is able to dodge it. He's able to completely dodge it, and I'm sorry about that sound in the, in the background. That is the enemy player using Promethean Vision, so you can blame him for that. Um, the fuel rod bolt travels slower once it is a few yards out of your gun. That's why you want to use the fuel rod like a close, well, a close to mid-range shotgun. It's really, really good at taking out enemy players who are decent distance from you, like right here, and immediately killing them. Because that bolt is so fast when it first comes out of the fuel rod gun, you want to be using it at closer range than you might think. Um, when you have full shields, you can take out an enemy player, as you see me baiting this guy towards me. You can take out an enemy player, like right here, and still survive with full shields when he's point-blank range. However, if you had any of your shields down in that scenario, you would immediately die. Normally. Right now, we're three, two kills ahead of the enemy team as I grab a ton of fuel rod ammo, ending up getting a really good protector, or not protector, but just saving my teammate there. Now, do I need more fuel rod ammo? Absolutely not. I'm going to get the speed boost and charge the other side of the map. Using the thruster pack with speed boost is incredible, as I end up getting two very good kills here.
again, using the tunnel and cave to my advantage. I end up really using it very well, backing into the cave to reload, and then popping back out again. Notice how I use the speed boost here to escape the enemy player. Very likely I would have died there, getting a nice distraction medal. Unfortunately, with my um, next thruster pack use, I call that Mantis that just spawned out to my teammate. With this next thruster pack use, I think I have the speed boost, but it ends up running out right now. And unfortunately, as soon as it runs out, you your thruster pack does not shoot you nearly as far. Really good long range shots on that enemy player to get the headshot as he's jetpacking. I'm going to pull back to our base so that I can go out through the teleporter. The teleporter will immediately shoot you into some caves, and I'm going to crouch as I come out through the teleporter to provide as little body mass seeable to the enemy team as possible in case they were right in that bunker that I just came through. Right here, I, again, am trying to protect my teammate as he's having some trouble with this guy, and I end up doing a very good assist. Right here, my first bullet ends up killing this opponent, which is pretty good, but I fire the secondary bullet just in case. Again, moving to the right, trying to crouch and stay off the radar so that this mantis... Notice how... Look, look at this guy on my... Look at this teammate on my radar. Watch this teammate on my radar. As he blindly charges out and ends up getting, at, as, I, as I turn around, he's blindly charging out towards this Mantis, which is obviously on his radar. It's on my radar right now. And he ends up getting absolutely plastered by this guy. As he uh, does a uh, pretty amazing um, lift there through the lift. I didn't even notice that. Well, wow, that's pretty funny. Anyway, I'm staying alive here in the cave. Watching my radar very closely. And I'm going to try to take this Mantis by surprise, which is my goal from the beginning. And I end up doing, putting many good shots. My teammate Plaza Pistols the Mantis, which is why it's not moving, because we charged Plaza Pistoled it. Uh, well, you have five kills to win in the game, so my teammate's going to pick up this Fuel Rod. And unfortunately, in this last bit, I do not end up getting any kills whatsoever. Um, and I end up dying to a guy quite embarrassingly. I thought I was safe. But he ends up coming up from behind me with a speed boost and a bolt shot inside the cave. Guys, if you like this video, if you like me slowing down the gameplay and providing some in-depth tips and tricks on how to play maps like Meltdown that may be harder for um, players to understand how to play, like the video. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe for more Halo 4 content, and I'll see you in the next video or whatever I end up capturing. Peace, guys.